All right, been working at the shop all day and the dog is telling me it's time to go home. Been working on doing a clutch on this old Land Cruiser, which is a huge job because it is really heavy. The whole thing, transfer case and the transmission, somewhat cast iron is gonna be a big job to try to get that out. So looking about going home, thinking about going home, I got these two Isettas here. I could take one of these home. It's a nice day out there. Which car should we take? Land Cruiser is getting a clutch job. That ain't gonna work. This Isetta runs good, but it's blocked in by this one that doesn't. Those cars in there don't interest me. Let's see what we got in the yard. Oh yeah, this is what we're gonna take home. This is a 1970 something Pinscour six wheel drive. <whistles> Come on, let's go. Let's load that dog up. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Ah. Try to do it with one hand, holding the camera, ain't gonna work. Come on. There we go. Come on, let's go. Load up. Good girl. We're gonna take the troop carrier. Put the puppy dog in the troop carrier. So this thing holds, I'm assuming by the headrests, there's six on a side, that's 12 in the back, and then you have a passenger. That's 14. Be a good little soccer mom car, huh? All right, let's take this thing home and see how she does. It's uh, tuned up, it's aired up, it's gassed up. Hope it doesn't break down. Okay, so we're getting ready to take this Pinscour for a nice drive home. You can see it's six wheel drive. However, I don't think we're gonna need six wheel drive on our way home today. It's uh, 60 degrees and sunny. I've got my t-shirts on, shirt sleeves. Feeling pretty good about that. Um, just the goofiest thing, but look at all that ground clearance. How many obstacles do you think we can clear on our way home? <laughs> well, we'll find out, I guess. We got our doggie in there, sitting proud and true. She's a patriot, you know. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna hop in this thing and we're gonna make it go. So I'm gonna just do a quick side shot here, back shot. If we need any more dogs in here, I suppose we got lots of room. Uh, people too. So uh, these are the battery compartments, 24 volt. It has a step, there's kind of a grid there where we're be the hub. It's not really a hub, it doesn't have locking hubs. Everything is actuated from inside. But we're gonna get inside this thing. I gotta climb way up, get my butt inside. And we are now looking at the dash. No seat belts, unfortunately. We got the uh, the voltage turned on behind the seat. We have a set of circuit breakers here. I guess these are push button circuit breakers. I haven't figured out what this does. Something to do with tag axle and lights, that type of thing. Um, we got fuel in the tank, although it's not really registered on the gauge. We got a tachometer and a speedometer. So let's turn the key. The speedometer usually, there it goes. Might be GPS, not sure. Turn the key and the speedometer has centered. All our dash lights have come on and uh, we're gonna grab a gear. Our gear pattern is right there. So I know which gear it is. This is our emergency brake. We're gonna hit the fire button here. Should fire up without the choke. And it does. So we're gonna grab first gear. Which is gonna be a granny gear, I know. Take the e-brake off. All the drive levers are there. We're not gonna mess with those. And away we go. Oh boy, talk about granny here. Might need to turn the wipers on. Yeah, those work good. Well, hello, neighbor. You got time to let me run in and get you a couple of grapefruit? Uh, sure, why not? You're leaving for home? Yeah. Okay, we got our grapefruit, and we're back on the road again. We'll see what you later. What is this thing? It's a Pinscour. A what? A Pinscour. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're back nice in first job. gear. We're back in first gear here, granny gear. And we're gonna take this thing for a drive. Oh boy, this thing is really low geared. I hope I... Block traffic. 
Cars come in there. Let's get it back in a second here. Oh, we better wait. Wait for that guy to go by. Okay, first gear. Second gear. Stuck in the low range. Here we go. And off we are going. 40 kilometers an hour. All right, I'm going to concentrate on driving. That's fifth gear. I think I'm stuck in low range. I got to figure this out. Okay, well, I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to pull over because I was just going too slow. Let these cars go by. I figured out this lever here is the high low range and I was stuck in low range. So now we're in first gear, high range. And we don't have any traffic behind us. Let's pull away. Ah, that's better. Or second gear. Ah, that's so much better. Okay. Second gear. We gotta get, find the gear. There we go. All right, we'll get this figured out. All right, we're feeling more comfortable driving the Pinsk Hour. We're gonna go over a speed bump here. And you feel it six ways. We're gonna stop at the gas station and fill up. She's definitely low geared. Kind of fun. It's quite thrilling at high speed. So we're filling up our Pinsk Hour here. Everyone's looking at the rig. Everyone thinks it should take diesel, but it takes gasoline. It's a very big hole. And Stella's having a good time riding the back, aren't you? <laughs> so we're going to continue on. It's quite the adventure uh, driving a Pinskauer on a nice, warm, sunny day. Open air motoring of a German vehicle, which I can't blame her. She gets that from her dad. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I'll have to take you on a higher speed test drive this thing <laughs> it's a little unstable uh at higher speeds you end up correcting yourself a lot because i think these six wheels start walking around or hitting all the bumps or i'm not sure this thing is connected with a great big huge spine there's a big spine that runs underneath here but it's quite zippy for a uh, four cylinder with dual carbs once it gets going oh my goodness it really gets going all right that's it for now over and out so it turns out, in all our hubbub, driving home, we forgot the gas cap for the Pinskauer. we got to go back to the gas station and get it. And who wants to go for a ride with me? What is this? What is it? Here, you can hop in the back with Stella. It looks like a, like a um, safari bus. It is kind of a safari bus. Like you sit like that? Yeah. You and Nora can ride in the back. Here, open it up for you. This again. What is it? Still come. <whistles> Hop in, Allie. I want to know what it is. It's a safari bus. Hop in. Where did you get it? Stella, up. Stella, up. What? Come on, let's go. Up in the bus. Up in the safari bus. Okay, go ahead, Allie. I'll take the gas cans out. You think Nora's going to be excited? Yeah, but. Where did okay. you get this? We got to go back to the store and get you some food, and we got to get our gas cap. You, ha you aren't answering my question. Where did you get it? <laughs> okay, everybody into the I safari bus. Team. What do you guys think? I think it's great. You like it? Yeah. Cool. Okay, grab a seat. We gotta go to the store and we gotta get our gas cap back. But Dad, she has mud on her. Like, dirt. Okay. Kind of, there's no seat belts, but try to be safe, okay, girls? Dad, this is never gonna fit in a parking spot. Sure it will. Okay, so we're all packed into the Pinskauer. Who's in here? Me. Oh, where's the dog? Oh, there she is. And what would the sense, what sense would it be if you had a six-wheel drive vehicle and you didn't use it to go four-wheeling? Oh, jeez, don't crash. I won't crash. Let's see how it handles. Uh, we're going to get sprayed in that puddle. Oh, it's pretty rough. Seems to be very capable. <laughs> I wonder if I should put it in six-wheel drive. 
Are you guys having fun back there? Okay, we're out of that four-wheel drive area and we're gonna enter a new one. You ready? Hang on, everybody. We're going four-wheeling. We're gonna have to fjord this stream. It's a big one. Hope we got a snorkel. Wow, it did pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna get back to driving. What do you think? Damn, kind of bumpy. Kind of bumpy. Whoa. This is what this truck is made for. Single track. In in the urban environment. Oh man. She fell out. She fell out on those bumps? Yeah. Okay. Open the door. There we go. Still look it up. Up. There we go. We lost the dog. Oh, now she's all muddy from that puddle. All muddy. That's what happens when you go four wheeling, six wheeling with our Pinscar. All right, we're back at the gas station, and I see her gas cap right there. Lucky to find that. It's very big. Yeah, I left my gas cap. All fixed up. Everybody still in the car? Okay, so we did a little grocery shopping. We got all kinds of food. Ooh, let me see. You see what we got there? We got some chips and some, what else, ham. The paleo chips. Now we're ready to roll again. Let's continue our journey. Look at Stella, she's so comfortable. Try the starting procedure once again. Turn the key on. Oh, we got gas now. Nice. Still not running quite right. What do you think? Think we'll make it? Okay, we had so much fun six wheeling before that we're gonna go six wheeling again. Not four wheeling, but six wheeling. I'm gonna have to drop it down in a low gear. Hang on, everybody. Don't fall out. What do you think, Allie? I don't want to fall out. Then hang on tight. This is going to be a rough road. Ow. Oh, well, a kickback on the steering wheel. That's so much fun. We're six wheeling, urban style. Here comes the great big mud puddle. Hopefully we can make it through without drowning. Ah, we made it. I think it's okay. Good. Maybe we can go across those logs. What do you think? I think we should stick to the road. I think you're right. This has been really fun. Okay, we are finishing up our urban safari tour in our six-wheel drive Pinscour. What do you think? Nothing? What do you think, Nora? You're supposed to be sitting down back there. Yeah. Sit down, please. All right, we're gonna head home and get some dinner. Okay, we're home. Pull the brake on. So what'd you think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool? Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, it's very different from any other car I've ever been in. Even the micro cars? Especially the micro cars. Okay, who's getting out? Nor did you fall out. Stella's still in there. She had a good time driving around. She could see all the squirrels. Right here, the squirrels. Where's Nor? Where'd you go? There you are. <laughs> That's super fun. We had a good time. All right, so we completed our journey, our adventure, our safari, whatever you may call it, in the Pinskauer today. Super fun. It still has an issue with the carburetors. It might have water in the fuel. I've got to take them apart and clean them and or see if I can get some water dispersant. I haven't figured out how to turn the headlights on yet, so I'm not going to drive it at night. So this will be it. 
Uh, it's nice to know the gas gauge works, the speedometer works, tachometer, most of the interior things, although Spartan, work. Um, and once it does clear itself out, it's quite powerful for an air-cooled four-cylinder. I'm curious to know what the displacement of that thing is uh, with dual carburetors and a factory header. It's got a factory header, you can see it underneath there. Well, sort of see it. Um, pretty zippy and high revving, which is sort of surprising. All right, thanks for watching. So we're all packed into the gift car. Who's in here? Oh, there she is. And what would the sense, what sense would it be if you had a six-wheel drive vehicle and you didn't use it to go four-wheeling? Oh, jeez, don't crash. I won't crash. Let's see how it handles. Oh, I'm going to get sprayed in that puddle. Oh, that's pretty rough. Seems to be very capable. <laughs> I wonder if I should put it in six-wheel drive. Can you guys have a fun back there? Yeah. Okay, we're out of that four-wheel drive area and we're going to enter a new one. You ready? Hang on, everybody. We're going four-wheeling. We're going to have to fjord this stream. It's a big one. Oh, we got a swirl. Wow, they did pretty good. Okay, I'll be back to What do you think? 